I love where I live. I've also learned over the years that there are a million great places to live on this earth. If I had more money, more time, I might settle for a while in London, England, or Melbourne, Boston, Buenos Aires, Edinburgh, or some small town in Prince Edward Island. Speaking of islands, how about Corfu or Sicily? The key for me is water, preferably an ocean or a sea. I grew up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which uh, was built around the confluence of two wonderful rivers, the Assiniboine and the Red, but uh, it is almost table flat and very far from salt water, unless you happen to be making pasta that night. I took an ocean liner from New York City to Gibraltar when I was 19, and I've never really gotten over the ocean since then. I don't want to be on it very much, or for too long at a time, but I want to look at it, smell it, watch the tides and waves, and feel that I'm part of those mysterious lunar rhythms that cast us about on a daily basis. So I live in Vancouver. We're a port city sheltered in huge measure from the true rages of the Pacific by Vancouver Island. The broad inlet in which so many of the great loading docks are situated in English Bay where the freighters sit high in the water waiting to load their cargoes and where we all play on the beaches. These bodies of water are often smooth as glass. It's a big exciting deal for us land lovers here when the occasional wave crashes over the pedestrian sea walks and heaves the odd errant log or two into our timid paths. We're not a city entirely devoid of art, architecture, music, or theater, but we're hardly New York or Paris or even Prague, and how could we be? We're less than 150 years old, and the centers of commerce in Canada are the Golden Triangle of Toronto, Montreal, and Ottawa. All of this is to say that while we get a little richer and a little more textured in our cultural departments each day, we are still a bit of a backwater. We're the wet coast at the end of the rail line. On a more positive and proactive note, we also like to think of ourselves as the gateway to the Asia Pacific, which in the current economic and political climate of times is not nothing. The two largest human settlements are on Earth or just across the water, and their influence and impacts on our town are enormous. For the first 20 years or so that I lived here, I've been here almost 50 or 50 years now, I thought of Vancouver as a kind of pregnant fishing village. Those days are long gone, and it's daunting to predict what the next 20 years may bring. For the moment, we continue to be that port surrounded by those mountains, that place where, yes, you can actually golf and ski on the same day, so many days of the year. Pretty neat, huh? Pickle. Love where you live, or start packing.